Hi everyone, Frank here from the Art of 3D Experience and today I just want to show you how you can export your 3D models from Cinema 4D into Twinmotion. So before you export your models into Twinmotion, there are a couple of things that you need to think about and to do in your Cinema 4D scenes. So I'm just going to go through those steps right now so you can be clear on what to do uh, just in case when you ex import your models into uh, twin motions uh, you know you might get some um, errors or you might get things not working not looking right so I'm just going to show you how to make sure everything works smoothly when you export your models so for our export we're going to use the um, FBX format you can also export your models as Cinema 4D but I find that uh, twin motion sometimes you know, it doesn't handle um, Cinema 4D files as well as FBX files. So I'm going to use the FBX format for this um, export, but you can use Cinema 4D as well. So before you export your models, the first thing you need to do is to convert all your objects into meshes. Sometimes you might have some Cinema 4D modifiers. For example, this sweep right here is still a um, dynamic object, it's a sweep. So just to be safe, I'm gonna convert this into a mesh. So I'm gonna select my sweep and press C to convert it down to a mesh. Then I'm going to take this out of the group. I want to keep my material on it, but I'm gonna just take out all the selections here yeah, I'm going to take out the UV2, I don't need that because it's just a color so I'm going to select the material go to um, oh, that's fine, so the material is, uh, has been assigned, so that's fine, so that's my um, top rail, I'm just going to call it top rail um, the railings, uh, they're all converted into meshes, this is fine um extrude which is my steps i'm going to call it steps right just convert it down i don't need all these selections i don't think so i'm going to delete that as well make sure the material is assigned the ceiling is fine it's a mesh so all of these are meshes so the lama beams and all that that's fine uh, just for speed purpose, I'm not going to rename all of these, but you can see on my screen what these are. So that's my flow. Alright, so that's all. Everything is a mesh, which is good. Now, the second thing you should do is to check that once you've converted your meshes, your objects into meshes, that all the normals are facing outwards. And what I mean by that is if you have let's say a cube down here and you convert this cube into a mesh like this if you go to your um, polygons selection and you select a polygon you see that the selection turns yellow but that's the right way your normal should be looking so your normal should be always yellow sometimes when you convert your objects down so once you've done some modeling or some modifications in your model you might find that your normals some of your normals could be inverted so and they'll be looking blue not yellow so once you have some um, blue normals in your uh, models when you import those into twin motions these faces will not show properly they will just show as transparent so you will be seeing through the cube if these normals are not converted are not facing the right direction so what you should do is if you find some normals that aren't facing the right directions just select them and then just right click on it and then go to revert mode and they should all be yellow so now let's go to our model and just make sure that everything is facing the right direction so I'm going to go from model from object to object, so this is my top rail. I'm going to check that, select all the faces, control A, everything is looking fine, all yellow. Same for the steps. Steps. 
I'm going to go to my selection, polygon selection, select all the faces. Oh, and as you can see here now, I've got some blue space, some blue um, faces. So I'm going to select those faces. So I guess that's all my steps. Yes, yeah, so all my steps are facing the wrong direction so I'm going to select the normals the faces of my steps that are facing the wrong way and I'm going to right click on them and go reverse normals right so I'm going to check again select all look around up oh, is one more so I'm going to select that one right click reverse normals check again right so all my normals are fine and this object so I'm just going to go through all my objects and do the same thing and then uh, we're just going to carry on with the tutorial. Right, so I have just checked that all my object faces are facing the right direction. And now the next step is to check that materials, all my materials are only using one channel, which is the color channel. On some other software, this is called Diffuse, but in Cinema 4D, this is the color channel. And whether you have a uh, a color or a texture, just make sure you only use the color channel. You don't need to add any reflectance or bump or anything because you can add all of these in Twin Motion later on. So you don't need to export those. So all these materials just use the color channels. So I'm going to go to all my materials, double check that I don't want to use any colors. Color, fine. No reflectance, just color. Uh, I'm going to clear this one. Just color, no reflectance. No reflectance. Yep, yeah, fine. No reflectance. No normals, no reflectance, no reflectance, just color. So now all my materials have just the color channel as the main channel, which is what we want. So that's the next step, checking the materials. The next step now is to double check that your all your materials uh, that have been assigned to your objects have a UV map coordinate. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's just go to this wall here. So uh, let's just delete the, the UV mapping. And here's my material. I'm going to delete the material too, and I'm going to reassign it to the object. So once you assign a material to an object, you get uh, the option to change its projection. So on this object, because it's a square cube object, I'm going to change my projection to cubic. Right, so the tiling is still a bit too small. So what I normally do is I go to tags and I go to picture object. And now it's looking much better. So the, the scale of the texture on this object is looking acceptable. So. If I leave it at that and I export my model to Twin Motion, it will come out wrong. And the reason uh, it's going to look wrong in Twin Motion is because you haven't uh, told Twin Motion how to tile your texture onto this object. So it needs the information, the scaling information from Cinema 4D that tells Twin Motion that it needs to scale it in a particular way. And the way you do that is once you have your scaling right in uh, Cinema 4D on your object, you can just go to your uh, material, then go to the right click on the material and go to generate UV coordinate. So now once I generate the UV coordinate, this scale on this object is locked. And once it's locked, you can't change, you can't, sorry. It wants to slap, you can't um, scale it, you can't move it, you can't do anything, it's slapped. And that's what you need to do in order to export your um, objects properly into Twin Motion. So, all these ones, all my materials here have, my, um, each of them have a UV 
tag, the UV coordinate tag, which tells Sim of um, Twin Motion how big and how to tile each texture onto each object. So make sure you have all the objects tagged properly in terms of UVs. I'm going to assign this material to that one, right? So it's fine. And finally, um, what you need to do is then go to your export. Once you have all these things done, go to file, export, FBX. And usually the default exports are correct. Make sure you embed the materials once you export it. Uh, make sure you check the normals, which is fine. And you know, I don't need cameras in there. So I'm going to just and take that and that's it so you just go to ok and export your fbx model so this is how you um, export your cinema 4d models to um, twin motion um, and doing it properly because otherwise you're going to get all sorts of errors and you know we don't want that so uh, i hope this has been useful to you and uh, i will see you in the next video